What's going on guys? This is Rona and today I'll be showing you the basics of the morphing. Morphing is pretty effective and powerful technique to create a motion graphic effects. So with this technique you can come up with the different kind of effects. So today I'll show you the basics of the morphing. So let's get started. First let's create a new composition. 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 8 seconds long and click OK. Before we morph any shape layer, I want to explain the difference between the parametric shape and bezier path, which is very important to work with the morphing. Ok, let's create a rectangle. Hold on shift and create perfect rectangle. Now click away. Now create another rectangle. This time I hold down shift key and alt key. Ok, now we created two rectangles. But you might wonder you've created two rectangles which has same shape and same parameters. But not exactly. Let me show you the difference. On the top one, the right one rectangle has rectangle 1. As I open it, I have bath 1. In the bath, we have bath. On the contrary, on the left side rectangle, we have rectangle 1. We have rectangle path 1. As I open it, we have size, position and roundness. But you think there is more feature than this. But not exactly. This path, as I click it, we see this path has 4 points. These points can easily change by selecting the pen tool or we can add more pins, more points or we can delete these points like this. Or we can change its shape freely or we can add more points we can change it wherever shape we want we can manipulate these points or on the other side this path the rectangle path one we have its size its position its strongness but we are forbidden to change the path from here okay so in morphing path is very important right i hope you understood what's the difference between parametric shape and bezier path okay let's move on into morphing shape so in this example i have created two different shape layers on the top we have ellipse and the bottom we have rectangle so in order to morph one shape to another shape we have to be copy and paste path information to one shape so let me show you what i mean uh, as i open this ellipse we have this path this path contains the information of ellipse shape so if we want to convert this rectangle into this ellipse shape we have to copy this ellipse path information and we have to paste on this rectangle path mesh so in this case we're going to morph so we have to record the keyframe so as this point this path holds the information of this rectangle so we have to record it by clicking on the stopwatch now we have created one keyframe and let's move a couple of seconds forward now copy this path by ctrl z paste it on this path align this like this okay now as you can see now we first we have this rectangle now look at this we have this ellipse shape okay now if we want to morph one more shape we have to create another shape layer so let's create you can create a shape selecting these shapes or you can freely create a shape by selecting this pen tool and create a different unique shape okay now open this shape Open this path and copy this path by Ctrl C and move forward couple of frames. Select this path where we now on this ellipse shape paste it by Ctrl V. Now this shape right away. Okay, let's see the morphing. First we have this rectangle and then we have this ellipse and now we have this shape. Okay, if I ramp preview this. So this is the simple morphing. What if we have multiple path on the one shape layer and then what we do on that particular situation on this example i will morph a text one text to another text so in order to do that let's create text first i just type a d maybe capital letter the next i'll go with r okay now align these texts center to be precise now we have to convert this text layer into shape layer so to do that right click on this create shape from text same on this create shape into text now delete these layers we don't need them anymore now select the t on this t as you can see we have this t inside the t we have this path only one path but as we open this r shape we have two R. The first R we have one path, and the second R we have another path. 
which means we have two paths so what we do when we deal with multiple paths so if we want to convert one shape to another shape simply have to copy the one path and paste into another path so in this case I select this content I click on this add and I add this path on on this D okay now we have two paths right here two paths right here let's morph D into R so select record a keyframe on the first on right here now copy this R path quarter one and paste on move a couple of frames forward and paste right here and copy the uh, top one path of the R and paste on this top one as well okay now turn this off so you can see here we have this morphing effect if you think this looks weird in some case you want uh, better animation what are you gonna do actually you can change its motion by changing its vertex so how do you do that okay let's select the path okay if I zoom in here you can see we have these points but this one is unique all of them because on this point this point we have selected the vertex right here on this R shape on the T shape the vertex is right here so this vertex jumping into this vertex so this is how this motion work okay so we have to change this vertex from this so to do that select the path select select to now right click on this path go to mask and shape path and set first vertex now if you see the motion is different right now we see how we deal with multiple paths as well as how we can change its animation by simply changing its vertex i hope you learned something good with this video share your thoughts in the description of this video i try to answer your questions if you still got a little bit of confusion during this video go ahead and watch this video at least two and three times so you would have better understanding to work with the morphing okay see ya in the next video